Who are the world's greatest prophets? The Mayans, Nostradamus, Edgar Cayce, Bran Stark, Homer Simpson? Hey, Nostradamus, did the rapture come? I can't recall. Oh, in fact, I can recall, and it didn't, and you suck. The Simpsons is not only the longest running sitcom and animated show on TV, it's arguably one of the best shows, period. But did you know the show also employs a stunning amount of profits? That's right, The Simpsons has predicted some major historical events and some completely random things like this. Hey, Dolph, take a memo on your Newton. Beat up Martin. Let's see, beat up Martin. Still doesn't work. What the f Let's take a look at 15 things The Simpsons has predicted correctly. Before we get started guys, I have a prediction of my own. You're gonna subscribe to GameSpot Universe right now. Okay, maybe not, but what if I ask nicely? Please subscribe because we have a ton of videos on our current favorite show, Black Mirror, including breakdowns on each episode and a video on every single Easter egg we found in season four. Side note guys, let's hope that none of that stuff ever comes true. Okay, back to The Simpsons. Let's start with tech, specifically FaceTime, or video conferencing, which was predicted back in 95. Lisa visits a fortune teller at a fair and we're transported 15 years into the future. She's talking to Marge using her phone's video chat feature called a picture phone, which was ahead of its time, but finally became a reality in 2010. And now we all use it, even our grandparents. Oh, don't worry, honey. I guarantee your father will behave. Mom, it's a picture phone. Oh, this? This? Oh, no, I, I just got a touch of the rheumatiz. Oh. Mom, picture phone. From the very same episode, The Smartwatch. Lisa's fiancé makes a phone call using his extremely fashionable watch. Kind of reminds me of Dick Tracy and how bad I wanted one of those things. But it wasn't until 19 years later that modern voice recognition-enabled smartwatches would become widely available to the masses thanks to Google, Samsung, and Apple. Moving on, the GoPro, or a camera in comparable size that was featured on a 1994 episode. Homer took part in a hidden camera investigation into the expired meat on sale at the Quickie Mart. Bite Back host Ken Brockman and the Channel 6 investigative news team give Homer a giant novelty hat to wear that contains a tiny camera in it. And we know only a GoPro would fit in there. 20 years later, we were introduced to the GoPro, which is the go-to hands-free way to record your travels while swimming, running, biking, or spying on people. That's some of the good tech, but how about some shitty tech, as in faulty voting machines? Inspired by the 2008 presidential election, this episode finds Homer trying to place a vote for Barack Obama, and it doesn't go so well. Hey, I only met one of those votes for McCain. <gasps> this machine is rigged. Good. Must tell President McCain. Ah, this doesn't happen in America. Maybe Ohio, but not in America. Ah. Now in 2012, this actually happened and there's video on YouTube to prove it. Racking over 10 million views, this Pennsylvania machine wasn't calibrated correctly and changes a vote for Obama to Mitt Romney. Speaking of presidential elections, The Simpsons predicted Trump, as in President Trump. Yep, it's another flash forward to the future as Bart is an adult and Lisa is the president of the United States. Unfortunately, she is tasked with the gargantuan task of cleaning up after the disastrous job left by Donald Trump. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. The country is broke? How can that be? The National Security Agency made headlines in 2013, but the NSA played a pivotal role in the Simpsons movie back in 07. Quick refresher, Homer accidentally pollutes Springfield's water supply, the family goes on the run, and the EPA declares the family as fugitives. The NSA finally tracks down Marge and the kids by listening in on their conversations. And six years later, Edward Snowden revealed widespread mass surveillance of its citizens by the American government through phone and internet records. The show also correctly predicted the 2016 Nobel Prize winner six years before it happened. That's right, never underestimate Milhouse. He's a genius, seriously. In 2010, he correctly predicted Bengt Holmstrom would win it, and he did in 2016, the Nobel Prize in Economics. Milhouse was part of a Nobel Prize betting pool, nerd alert, with Lisa, Martin, and Database. It doesn't take a Nobel Prize winner to predict this one. FIFA is corrupt. Back in 2014, Homer was asked by FIFA to help repair the organization's image and to actually referee a World Cup in Brazil. 
Yep, that happened. The episode forecasted the FIFA arrests, though not by naming anyone specifically. Real life FIFA officials were indicted a year later amidst corruption claims, bribery, and money laundering. Also, bonus points because The Simpsons also predicted that Germany would beat Brazil in that World Cup final. They just missed on the score. It turns out The Simpsons writers are also mathematicians, apparently, because Homer Simpson discovered the Higgs boson before anyone else. Homer was a good 14 years early on The God Particle, which helps explain how everything in the universe has mass. In a 1998 episode, Homer becomes an inventor and is shown at a chalkboard with an extremely complicated equation. Unbelievably, that equation actually predicts the mass of the Higgs boson, or something extremely close to it. Believe me, it's incredible, and was co-signed by Dr. Simon Singh, author of The Simpsons and Their Mathematical Secrets. This one is extremely bleak, but The Simpsons may have hinted at the Ebola outbreak way back in 1997. The episode features Marge trying to get a sick and depressed Bart out of bed and offering to read him this book, Curious George and the Ebola Virus. Would you like to color something? I did. Could that drawing be a sign of life after an outbreak of a deadly virus? I know it's a stretch, but this episode was widely shared by YouTube user The Controversy 7 who theorized that the show predicted the 2014 American Ebola outbreak. Elsewhere in the world, the show also predicted Greece's financial crisis a few years early. Back in 2012, Homer appeared as a guest commentator on the program Headbutt. Watch closely as the ticker runs across the bottom of the screen. Europe puts Greece on eBay. Of course, just three years later, Greece plunged into economic crisis, becoming the first developed country to default on an international monetary fund loan repayment. And yet another scary one, Siegfried and Roy's tiger attack. In the episode, Mr. Burns is opening up a casino with a wannabe Siegfried and Roy, two German magicians, Gunther and Ernst, and their long-running show that tragically ends in a tiger attack. <laughs> Ten years later, Roy Horn was mauled in Las Vegas during a performance that left him partially paralyzed and ended the show's 13-year production. Speaking of performers, the show predicted Lady Gaga and her Super Bowl halftime show. Kudos for guessing Gaga would headline a big-time performance, but it's not all that impressive. Hell, she's one of the world's biggest stars. What's really impressive, however, is how spot-on the performance was. Her Springfield performance had her suspended in air, and the same came true five years later when she descended from the roof at halftime during Super Bowl 51. Only Sting did it better. This one was recently confirmed. Disney owns Fox. Back in 1998, director Ron Howard pitches Homer's screenplay to producer Brian Grazer at 20th Century Fox. Now, pay close attention to the sign at the beginning of this scene. The Fox studio lot is, quote, a division of the Walt Disney Company. Almost 20 years and more than $50 billion later, the Disney-Fox deal is a reality as Mickey Mouse and company continue their war with Netflix for your entertainment attention. And let's end it here because this one is extremely nuts and in no way feasible. The Simpsons predicted 9-11 in 1997. YouTube user Truth Will Find You Brew points out that the bus advertisement that promises New York tickets for $9 perfectly lines up next to the Twin Towers to read, New York 9-11. No way that is anything more than just a complete coincidence, but this is what happens when you spend way too much time on internet conspiracy theory rabbit holes. I'm done. But if you're into more predictions of the future, be sure to check out all of our Black Mirror coverage on GameSpot Universe. We have breakdowns for each episode of the new season and a video on all the Easter eggs we found.